to Sai Bamba, got into the premises of the head force headquarters and had wanted to park where senior officers used to park and some officers directed that the traffic warden should take him and direct him to where he should park, which used to be the general car park. As soon as they got to the car park, the bomb in his vehicle went off, killing himself and the traffic warden. Was the bomber following the IGP's convoy with respect to general police? No, it, that's not true. What is the actual... Uh, unfortunately, uh, if I uh, could have been able to display to you the CCTV uh, footage, the vehicle came out on its own because IG has been in the office for more than 20 minutes before this thing happened. So it is not... The, the, the vehicle, it is not true that it was in the convoy of the IG. The normal, the normal routine check was carried out on him and it was not discovered that he was carrying a person that explosive. What you have there is metal detector, so definitely I don't think the metal detector will detect explosives. The police is only to be seen to prevent crime. We have an intelligence unit which is only to complement the effort of the major intelligence service. And you see that virtually everybody has left their work to do police work. I don't know whether you people have been such like on other services. For instance, out of the police, you have people maintaining traffic. But if anything happens on the road, you see come to the police. Nobody talk of a whole organization that is designed to take care of traffic situation. If there is any problem about drug, people smoking in their hemp and all those things, you people, you, it is still referred to the police. And there is a whole organization that has, that has been established to deal with this situation. The Boko Haram, the arm robber, the kidnappers live within the community. They are children of people. They eat and die. People see them. But do they pass the information? So we now say that um, it's an indication of the police incapability to tackle security situation in the country. No. Uh, I see it as the Boko Haram taking the IG's statement as a challenge. And they believe that they want to send a scare, which can never work. We are going to rise up to the challenge and we are going to solve this problem of the Boko Haram.